Hi, this is Rachel with Flow on Yoga. Um, today we are going to do a short standing only practice because I know it's sometimes really difficult for people to get down on the floor or especially to get down and back up again or to do inversions, which includes doing just a standing forward fold. So anything that brings your heart below your hips, which includes just this, can be really difficult or even um, not medically advised for some people. So we're going to do a short practice today where we will do the whole thing standing up. So no weight on our wrists. No getting down and changing of elevation too much, except for bending our knees. There will be some bending knees. Um, and feel free to grab a chair or to use a nearby wall, as always, if you need some extra support. So today we're going to start right in the middle of our mat. Feet about hip distance, so hip points, not outer hips. But your hip points right here, hip distance apart, which is usually about the width of a fist. And then we're going to start at mountain pose. So palms facing forward, feeling the shoulders relaxing down your back. And we're just going to pause, maybe playing around with shifting your weight until you feel like your weight is balanced and distributed evenly between all four corners of both of your feet. You can adjust your feet if you need to. That's always okay. And then once you find that place where you feel very balanced and very steady, just pause, try to find some stillness, and begin to take some deeper inhales and exhales your nose. Uh, feeling free if it's accessible or comfortable for you to maybe close your eyes or just like soften, relax your gaze. Almost like you're trying to look down at your cheekbones or very softly gazing towards the floor and your eyes kind of relax. Maybe even losing focus for just a minute. Not on your balance or your practice or your breath, just your vision may get a little bit blurry and that's okay. Go ahead and take one more deep inhale and exhale. And then our next inhale with a slight bend in our knees, we're going to inhale, lift the arms up overhead, exhale, palms together, hands through heart center. And another one, inhale, arms up, maybe the gaze follows this time. Exhale, hands through heart center. And one more time, inhale, the arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center. I'm going to step back just a little bit to make sure that you can see the tops of my hands, kind of in a new filming situation here. So trying to work out with the space and the angles that I have. I want to make sure you can see the tops of my hands. So I'm going to inhale up, and we're going to take the right hand to the left wrist. There we go. And then on an inhale, we're going to reach up and grow really, really tall. And then on an exhale, we're going to tilt towards the right. And I want you to make sure, even as you're tilting, that you stay really engaged and lengthened through your arm. And that's going to help you get the best stretch possible in this side bend, crescent shape we're making right here. And I feel mine all the way from my shoulder all the way down to my hip. Whereas if I lose some of that extension and find some more space to lean over, I lose the stretch through my shoulder. I can still feel it down here in my hip and my low torso area, but I've lost it up here, whereas if I really extend through that arm, that activates and you're getting that stretch all the way down the side of your body. Your next inhale, we're going to come back up through center, switch to the opposite hand to the opposite wrist, inhale, really lengthening, and then exhale to the left. Make sure you're taking those deep, steady inhales and exhales through your nose. On your next exhale, come up. Inhale, maybe your gaze looks up. Exhale, hands through heart center, and all the way down, release into the sides. I'm going to step back forward again so I'm not too far away. Now we're going to do a little twist. So we're going to bring our left arm towards our right hip. And then for our right arm, we can either just kind of put it like right here behind our back or even on your hip, or maybe reach it all the way through towards the opposite hip crease. And we're just going to do a little twist. Maybe the gaze comes over your right shoulder, or maybe keeping your gaze forward if it doesn't feel good in your neck. Lots of options here. Making sure we're taping, taking those deep inhales and exhales, even though we are twisting and kind of constricting the space throughout our torso and our diaphragm, we still want those inhales and exhales to be deep and full and steady. 
And on your next exhale, we're going to release that, come through center, and bring it right around to the other side. Same thing, other side. Maybe noticing that even though we're doing the same thing, it doesn't feel exactly the same from one side to the other. Maybe you have a little bit more space or less space to twist on this side. Maybe you can get that left arm a little further into your hip, or maybe it's more about at the mid-back this time. Our bodies are not symmetrical. It's okay if one side is not exactly the same as the other. That's completely normal. And then exhale, let it go through center. Maybe take a minute, not a whole minute, just a few seconds, a metaphorical minute, <laughs> just to kind of twist your spine a little bit here. It'll feel really good in the low back to do this. And then we're going to do a few neck circles. So bring those arms back down, palms up in mountain, or you can have your arms right here on the hips, hands on hips, or even hands here in prayer position, yogi's choice. We're going to take an inhale, and on our exhale, we're moving the right ear towards the right shoulder and letting the opposite shoulder, your left shoulder, release down your back. And on your next exhale, we're going to round the chin towards the chest. Inhale, lift, and then opposite side, exhale, left ear to left shoulder, letting the right shoulder release. Take an inhale here, and then on that exhale, rolling your chin to your chest. Inhale, lift. Now we're going to, with the right ear moving towards the right shoulder, we're going to take some very small neck circles. Very slow, with your own breath. Maybe they grow a little bigger, if that feels okay in your neck. Next time your chin's down at your chest, we will pause and take it in the opposite direction. It doesn't really matter which direction you started with, if you're doing the same or differently than I am. Just make sure that you do it in both directions. Feel free to pause anywhere where your neck may need a little bit of a stretch or some tension, some breath. Next time your chin's down to your chest, pause. And on your next inhale, lift the gaze. And then we're going to start on an inhale. We're going to lift the shoulders up. Exhale them down, around, and back. So inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together, down doing some little shoulder rolls. And these can be as big or as small as feels comfortable for your body. Next time your shoulders are up, pause. And instead of going back this time, we're going to go forward with our shoulder rolls. So inhale up, and then exhale. Shoulders come forward, down, and around and up the back. Inhale, the shoulders come up, exhale down. And next time your shoulders come down, release it. Maybe shake it out a little bit if you need to. And we're going to take our feet, which so far have been directly under our hip points. We're going to step them a little wider. We're going to start right here. And we're going to do a little goddess pose, so your toes maybe point out just a little bit. And we're going to exhale, bend the knees, and that can, this can be a little micro bend in our knees. It can be here, it can be here, or you can come all the way down into a low goddess, totally your choice. And then inhale up. So wherever you are, maybe it's an exhale here. Inhale up. Maybe it's an exhale down. Inhale up. If you're like, this is easy, I want to do a little bit more challenge, something that maybe challenges your balance a little more. Maybe you can try to do this with lifting your heels. My legs started shaking the second I did that, so a balance challenge. And again, you can do that with that little squat. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And next time you go down, we're going to pause. And again, that can be as low or as high as you want. It can be a tiny little micro bend in your knee. 
that is perfectly okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale our arms out and exhale our right arm is gonna come down, our left arm is gonna come up. Just a little twist here. And if it doesn't feel good to have this arm raised, you can tuck it behind your back or put it on your hip. And then stand it up. Next time you exhale, take it the other way. Inhale back up and all the way up, straighten the legs. We are going to turn the right toes facing towards the short edge of your mat. Back foot is parallel. Maybe step it a little bit wider if you need to. Bending that right knee where our knee is directly over our ankle. Stretching the arms out in a warrior two. Gazes over the front middle finger. And again, this is a place where you can have a chair here to hold on to, or you can even have a chair right under this front leg to support this front leg. And again, I have some videos on my Flow and Yoga channel that shows you how to do Warrior Two with that chair under your leg. So on your next inhale, we're gonna sweep that front arm up and back. Your right arm, your left arm, I mean, comes down the back leg. Pause and breathe, breathe here in this reverse warrior position. Inhale through warrior two and straight into a side angle. So front arm goes down to the front thigh, back arm comes up, or maybe even if you want to get a little bit more of a side body stretch, comes forward. Inhale back up. Just straighten the front leg. And exhale, just kind of like we were doing in that goddess pose. Do where our front arm is down, our back arm is up, or on the hip or behind the back. This is a variation of triangle where instead of coming down and doing more of a inversion where our lower bodies come down, we're staying up nice and high. Inhale back up. Now we're going to take our right toes, turn them back in. Exhale, sit it back down into that goddess pose for just a second. Inhale back up. Left toes spin 90 degrees to face the back edge of your mat. This foot should be parallel already, but if it's not, check it out. And adjust accordingly. Our left knee is directly over our left ankle. Hips are squared towards the long edge of your mat. If you're feeling like you can have a little more space, you can maybe step that back leg back a little more to let a little bit of a wider. You can get this front leg a little deeper. Totally optional. Stretch the arms out and gaze comes over that front left middle finger. Pause here and breathe for just a moment in this warrior two. And on your next inhale, sweep the left arm up and back as the right arm comes down the right leg. Reverse warrior. On your next inhale, Bring it through warrior two, directly into that side angle. Left arm on left thigh, right arm is either up or maybe here on your hip or behind your back. Now I want you to check here, and I didn't do this on the other side, but check that you're not really relying on this thigh to keep your torso up. You really wanna be at an angle where you can Engage the core and your core is holding you in this position and this is just here for a little extra support But it's not really supporting the weight of your upper body Inhale it back up straighten the left leg Exhale down into our nice high triangle Again right arm is either up at the hip or behind the back Maybe you can even reach it through to that left hip crease if you have the space and range of motion for that. And inhale it back up. Bring those left toes back to face center. And you know what's coming. We're going to inhale, exhale, set it down into our goddess pose. We're going to bring our arms out into like cactus tea, like a really strong warrior pose here. We're going to hold right here. And if maybe point your toes out a little bit, I'm going to flip and point my toes out. Again, you can be here or here or here and just a little micro bend. If your legs need to be straight today, that's fine too. 
But wherever you are, we're going to pause and try to find some stillness for three breaths. And we're going to do three lion breaths because this goddess pose is a really strong pose. And I just feel awesome when we do this pose. So we're going to inhale through our nose and then we're going to exhale out through our mouths while sticking our tongue out. So we're going to go. So like that for three more breaths. And if you feel silly, it's okay. Nobody else can see you and you can all see me. So I'm doing it too. Inhale through your nose. Two more times. One more. And on your next inhale, straighten the legs, maybe bring your hands to your hips, we're gonna heel toe the feet back in to where they're right under our hip points, in about hip, about fist distance. Hip points is here, not outer hips. And we're gonna slight bend in the knees, inhale, take the arms up, exhale through heart center. Do that two more times. Inhale the arms up. Exhale through heart center. One more. Inhale up. Exhale through heart center. Pause here for just a moment. Inviting you to close your eyes if you feel balanced and safe to do so. Always welcome to hold on to a chair or a wall. You can also sit down in a chair or even if it's accessible to you and you can't get down on the floor, maybe now's the time that you want to go ahead and make your way into Shavasana. So corpse pose, laying down on your back. And I'm going to stay right here. We close our eyes or soften our gaze. Or just find a dristy, a fixed point to stare at. I'm just going to, as much as possible in whatever position you're in, try to find some softness. Maybe in the forehead or the jaw. Letting your shoulders relax. Soften that space behind the knee. Feel the rise and fall of your chest as you inhale and exhale. Maybe noticing how your body feels different now than it did before you started this practice. Feeling how we got a nice, beautiful stretch, pretty much from head to toe, without ever having to be weight-bearing on our arms, without ever having to do any inversions or getting down on the floor. That yoga is totally accessible for anyone that can't get down on the floor. Thank you for joining me today for this practice. Go ahead and if you want to now, take maybe seven, eight, ten minutes in this pose to just relax and kind of soak in some of the benefits of your practice. If you don't have that time, I totally understand. We live in a busy world with busy lives. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out our practice today. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you here at Flow on Yoga again soon. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.